What is up guys, Son of Beast here. This is Game 5, as the Bucks take the rematch against the Lakers in LA. As for right now, the Bucks take the lead 3-1. to one. If they win, then they are the champions. If the Lakers win in Game 5, then they're heading back to Milwaukee against the Bucks in Game 6. And if the games are necessary in Game 7, then we may have to, uh, we have a lot of choice to figure out who will win. So Game 6 and 7 are necessary. If uh, if the Lakers wins, again, if not, then the Bucks sort of claims to be the champions. By that moment, not to be that figure, I don't have any uh, suggestion to take any kind with all that, with all the uh, all the important things that I would do to make it look comfortable. So, anyways, statements between the Bucks and the Lakers. That is all I need to figure it out. You're right. But we are not you. here to stick I mean, it up on time. But I don't know oh, what will happen right. here now, if we're gonna do it again. But that being said, if you got a, if you got a game schedule that, coming up, you better do it now, or else it will be expired right now. Get your claims of your players and do it right as you can. So which one do you like? Um, I like I like the point guard position to go with that. But which building for your my most my team roster and which position do you prefer? It's a form of Let me know in the comment down below here, so I can get you right at that time at that moment. So here we go, fans. Game five. It's about to be lucky enough to go from downtown to LA's Hollywood. But this Lakers is amazing to take out the uh, incredible night here back at back in game five at Staples Center. Not to know what we have here, but who will be the MVP in the finals? We'll stick up with us right after this. But the game is coming up next. And this game is sponsored by Auto Trade. Not to know anything about you guys. Here's a 2K sports pregame show. Here we go. Here we have it. NBA action tonight. The Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Looking at the Lakers, they've performed at an elite level this season. And with the best record in the conference, they're the cream of the crop in the West. No question about it. Get ready for some explosive highlights. Kenny, just how incredibly athletic are guys in the modern era. I mean, we've had our guys of, uh, with the, their fair share of athleticism, but, but could you imagine LeBron James playing in his 60s? Ooh. Or the 70s? Ooh. Or Giannis? Ooh. Every decade, the athleticism just gets ratcheted up. Yeah, but you look back at Michael Jordan, the great Allen Iverson, or even further back to David Thompson Ooh. and Dr. J. Yes. Those guys would still be top athletes in the game that they played today. Time for tip off as we send it over to Kevin Harlan. He's got well. There's going to be some explosive here. Thanks for uh, thanks for the commentators, you guys. But yes, this is how it's going to be. The boom between Giannis and LeBron James. What do we need to know? There's a lot more to figure it out better than the other players. Or some slamming that brings it with you. David Aldridge on the sideline. And this is Kevin Hartle with Craig Kellogg and Craig, Craig Kellogg and, and Greg Anthony. Here's a look at uh, Brooke Lopez with the score. If you guys already know this one, you should know that one better. But here's DA on the sideline. DA, it's all yours. What do you have here? The Bucks took a massive leap in Coach Mike Budenholzer's first season in Milwaukee. Budenholzer said he joined the organization at the perfect time. The new facilities, the energetic fans, the great roster, ownership, front office, everything is set up to have great success. And he added, I feel fortunate to be the coach. Kevin? My point holds time. Thank they you. might be a very, very and nice uh, compliments to go from each for team to, to every players. players. Uh, really but for that, who can take that on. win on the virtual postseason? It's not going to be that easy. That you don't have it's definitely very hard. And if, if the regular season uh, continues on here on September, then we might do it as long as we can. If they don't do it anyway, then I'll have to wait until next season. 
to prefer which team will make the win in the finals in real life. Well, I want this win in a real life, but I don't know what's going to happen here. But we all know what we're going to do. to see it look like. So here we go, game five. Oh, what a start for James to come out right over Giannis. An obvious first basket of the night. What a great move here, Jamar on James. Here on the other hand is Brook Lopez following up the winning tip-off here by for LA Lakers to win. Wesley Matthews passed to Bledsoe. He goes over Bradley. His first shot went off wide. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, the Los Angeles Lakers are just not that quite uh, impressive looking. But the Hall of Famer, it was Magic Johnson, a great time player that was ever to be played with the Lakers since uh, back in a lot in the 1990s, I think. Believe me, a lot more would come. Here's McGee dunked it in. There are two dunks going on, one for James and one for McGee. Clark Kellogg and there's Greg Anthony with Kevin Arlen. That's, uh, that's, I'm just saying that one again. Brooke Lopez to Middleton. Pass to Brooke Lopez. Rolls it over to Wesley Matthews. Shoots over Danny Green. And he makes a second. His first basket. For Wesley Matthews, it's been a little bit astonishing right, right from the game. Not to believe that time, but it might be very tough. Here's LeBron James, alley but it's blocked and recovered by McGee. Pass to Bradley, and he passes to Davis, goes in. The drive's good. Number two pointer for the Lakers as Anthony Davis will take his first look at the drive. Six to two, not bad with the score. But the Bucks seems to have a hard time in game game one, back in the last couple games. Not game two, not game three, and mostly not game four. Davis takes a steal. Middleton against James. James takes a two. Good! Exit from the uh, middle. That's his second bucket. Ops Jacobo would have realized he would have got a chance to go for it, but another steal! Finding another target. James dunks it in! But this season was coming out to a big win. And, and look at that. How impressive do you know about Avery Bradley that comes up in the hand? Well, there's no question about that. I don't have any choices to come up with. Wetzo rolls over to Matthews, comes up in, shoots it, and he hits a two-pointer. Matthews takes it four points. And I think the greatest player to I think the next greatest player will be LeBron James. Because you know that. He made as the most clutch shot ability. He's not doing anything else, but he's all done it by himself. No helps at all. He practiced it a lot. That's what he did. He passed to Avery Bradley. Passed over to Anthony Davis. Shoots over Middleton. He defended by Middleton, and this shot's good. Assist by Avery Bradley. That's second assist. Third assist, third assist of the night. They're looking comfortable out there. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first. Let's uh, roll it over to Matthews. Three thirty-two left. Let's uh, coming in. Shoots over Bradley, and it's two pointer. Good. Another bucket here on this first time. Bucket in for Eric Bledsoe. Even when the defense was right there. He was like right there. He's not like, he was not defended really well. But he's, a lot of players are like smoking out after him. Bradley finds McGee. McGee dunks it in. And there are four assists going on for Avery Bradley. And not everybody else was going to keep it up. Middleton will take the first layup. That'll be his first bucket of the night. Right in the paint. Good driving motion. That'll be his first bucket in. The Bucks are looking for a chance to win in the finals. But the timeout will be called by the Lakers. Since their new change will be coming up shortly. I'm thinking that a lot of 20 points of this game, this looks like stunning me a lot more, than a lot more time than I, than I had. But maybe the most of the time might be very confusing. I don't have any choices to say about this game. The Lakers was 
smoking. They, they really did help out the dynamic duos by between Davis and LeBron James. You're not seeing which game is it more likely to have dynamic duos or trios or quads. There's nothing else that you can't believe of what, uh, what games do you have here. It's like uh, all of a sudden uh, they come in, they split apart. No, they don't. They don't split apart. Here are some here are some changes right now for the Bucks and for the Lakers. And these are the real stats. All five players are swapped out. All five players have checked in. Jonathan Isofa, Robin Lopez, DiVincenzo, and Hill are in. Lakers are number one right here, but behind the behind the Bucks. So well on the season. Another five group are switching in. Howard, Cardwell, Curtis, Cardwell, Pope. Then it's Kuzma, and then it's and then is Rojan Rondo, and finally it's Markeith Morris. After the block by uh, by Lopez, here's Connaughton. Bounce pass to Robin Lopez. He comes in. From the paint, good. That'll be his first bucket of the night. A nice combination of, of size. Everybody's agreeing on Robin Lopez. He also has his brother that wants to be played with, but he doesn't realize if he's, if he's gonna if, the, if they are making some changes here to have some help. Not at all. Billy Sofer will take the first rebound here with just two or six remaining. Robin Lopez passed to Ailey Silva. First basket will count in for Ilya Silva to come in. As this by Robin Lopez. He also feels pretty comfortable in the paint. Under two minutes left here. 14 to 12 is your score. After the last game, we know that it was close. Uh, yeah, I would agree on that one here. This is like really close. If James made the buzz beater and win in game four, then he would take those series with another tie. But unfortunately, it went it went too loose, the shot went off target, and he went out of room. Here's Howard. Here's Howard. The shot was off, following up by the block, following up by the reach and foul, being pulled up on Billy Sofa. DiVincenzo rolling it over to Connaughton, and three! Why is it in? First three-pointer for Connaughton, and they are making a lot of passes right around each other. Minute and 15 left to go, Rondo looking over, pass to Morris, dunks it in! The first dunk that was being pointed up here for Morris, that was like the biggest time that was ever going to happen here. DiVincenzo coming up the other way. He hasn't scored here since the fourth quarter. Holds the ball tight. Connaughton back to DiVincenzo. And we got a foul. First foul goes off for Keith Morris in game five. Stop the clock at 50, 50 seconds. DiVincenzo would have been appreciated to, uh, to help all the uh, uh, players out. But he decides to get, take a close look. Right. To I go mean, for two shots at the free throw line. Fort, maintain the status quo. Share the basketball and minimize mistakes. Marquis Morris with the first personal foul. By a shooting. DiVincenzo looking at the rim. Doesn't want to get distracted. The first, first shot goes in. Alex Caruso. Alex Caruso is checked in. Marvin Williams is checked in. Marvin Williams is checked in for Ellie Sofa. Kyle Corper is checked in for Connaughton. And all three got, and all two players switched in to uh, point forward and small forward. And he takes two and has a one point lead. There's 49 seconds left here in the Just first Just down court. to 46 seconds left here. Cardwell Pope looking out. Rondo. Finds Rondo. And how are you putting in? Howard takes a slam dunk. Assist by Rondo. That'll be his first assist for an alley oop. I might have to teach that one here. Ronald Lopez went off. D.Y. Howard with the first. Lakers are putting up a second team foul. 
It seems like Frank Vogel is not still remains silent. Talk, what do I want to talk to the young players? But Mike Budenholzer wants to uh, wants to talk things over. Uh, try to get try to get a uh, driving motion. Seventy four percent. You know, there are two shooting two. Compared to last year, hands are gathering up some uh, some veins going on. No major concern. While while he's kind of a little distracted. No good on the free throw. Yeah, you see that? That's what just happened here. You get distracted, you miss the first one. You miss the second time, then you don't get any points. One more shot for Robin Lopez. He's comfortable making the second free throw. And ties it up by 18. 35 seconds left to play here in the first. Just down to 30 seconds left. Rondo against Key Vincenzo. Howard, another dunk. Really, really hard to keep Howard out of the paint. I mean, once he gets the position he wants, he's going to look to throw it down. George Hill trying to make a crossover with the scrimming. Hill up top. Scribble, scrabble. Scribble. For her outside. He's on the court for just his first nice game in game five. Over to Marvin Williams. Yeah. His first shot went off. Good offense going up against Bender. Carmel Pope looking for the buzz beater by Rondo. And he made it in. Two point lead. At, oh, four point lead in the game. And that will be the end of the first quarter. 22 to 18 was the start of the Lakers to pull out in front. But the six, but the just after this short break. But the but the second baskets was just power. Amazing start for the Lakers. Second quarter is next when we come back. Court, uh, what is my next step as a basketball player because I know this is just the beginning. I haven't even reached my potential yet. I think I have a long way to go and uh, maybe one day I can be top 10 in all those things. I, I feel like I can I can do that. I think he's already a maybe five, maybe five, next year he might be in the uh, top 10 by the 2020 to 21 season. But I'm not sure if he might be in the top 10. Thanks to one of my uh, YouTubers that did the uh, top 10 players happen this year and last year, we might be seeing some more uh, more highlights going on here for next season. But most of all, number one, it was LeBron James. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot. Howard takes a steal with the second quarter being released out. Has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy. Howard, I mean, Cardwell Pope, three is good. That'll be his first basket of the night. Kyle Corver still out here with Marvin Williams and G. Vincenzo with George Gill and Robin Lopez. Kyle Corver moving around to Hill. But he backpassed to Robin Lopez. Six to shoot. George Hill take the two. He hits the double pointer and had his first bucket of the night. A lot of young players. A lot of young young players are still having some hard time because one of each players may be a superstar that we've been pulling out, or a pros, or an all star. We don't know what will happen, but it's, but that's how this is happening again. Donovan Mitchell fighting for it. Howard got it. Ah, uh, gonna be able to convert, but he'll go for it again. Good D by Robin Lopez, and he keeps it up with two rebounds, only four for D.Y. Howard, which is unbearably tough enough to look all over the court. Let's catch up and see David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Chris Middleton was a first-time All-Star in 2019. Now, we all know that Middleton is one of the league's best shooters, but he had to adjust his game to a new system under coach Mike Budenholzer. Middleton said, I guess that's what being an all-star is, a team player and a complete player. Not playing for stats, playing for nothing else but to win. Kevin? First time all-star. Great all-star to be pointed out here for Chris Middleton. Here's Thank you. The Lakers are going with right now. D.Y. Howard makes a couple baskets in, following up the assist by Alex Caruso. His first and first personal foul was on Marvin Williams. One shot left for Howard. Lakers are just pulling, pulling it out by eight. And when you think of Howard, defense and defense immediately comes to mind. I mean, he knows his role and plays it pretty well. 
So players are being back on the court, but only Kyle Korfer stays on the court. Davis is there. Kyle Korfer rolling around. Bledsoe coming in. Manages to miss it, but it didn't go in. And Caruso's got Caruso the has got the ball right now, but James makes it three. He makes it in his first time clutch for these shots and has eight points. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Ashikupo. Oh, he turns around the other way and revenge on LeBron James. How he clutched that shot. With about 4.30 left to go here, James' team leading up by, by 40. Green dishes off and on the green mark. That's his first, bus, first bucket of the night. I'm sorry. Duh. Duh! Does Eric Bledsoe really come up with that shot? Well, there is no chance that we have we have a three pointer. Eric Bledsoe makes the uh, makes the first free, first three pointer, but his second basket of the night. Giannis going over. Oh, here he comes! Oh, he's going for it. Two pointer looking good. He drills it in that time. He went he went quick. He was like he is on no man's land. Davis misses the shot. Um, no, and I was unassisted by uh, by one of each players. Milwaukee lead, trailing by six. Passes up to Corfer. Crazy to think when you look at what. Passes to Middleton. Six on the shot clock. Middleton going in and out. And Davis keeps the rebound ball. He's got to be kicking himself for He's like he's kicking out all over again. Not moving out with the two to three zone. He went out of bounds. Green didn't seem like he was going to make it in time. But it turned it over into Milwaukee ball as Kyle Korfer is out and all five players in the starting lineups are in. Except for the Lakers as Markeith Morris is checked in. Oh my! Giannis going nowhere. He's like, he's like, he's like, uh, he's pulling up a fast break and going for a dunk. I think he's number five. Lakers leading by four. But he's still in the top ten recently. James, the best of all. Keith Morris going to try the first one. Los Angeles keeps missing the three pointers without any open wide shots. Brooke Lopez. Missed the first three four three pointer. Two forty left to go. Bradley still has the ball, but has only got four assists for a row on one of each player. I did. Morris looking around. Pass to Davis and dunks it in. Davis takes his first look at the dunk, assisted by Morris, his first assist. Middleton going around the airway, but didn't really want to care about it. Middleton on the wing, James covering. Giannis dishes the blood up. Giannis going for over with the screen. Too easy. Giannis keeps it up with another point each, assisted by Bledsoe. A lot of passing lanes are just going over the place. Ochtacupo has eight points. Green with a three. Red mark. No shot made for Green his second time. Bledsoe with a three. It's good. What a nice three-pointer for Eric Blinton to put out, assist by Chris Middleton. That will be his second three-pointer from each court, every every wing that he goes out. Bradley against Bledsoe, Green again, missed the three, didn't make it that time. Milwaukee. We're almost done with uh, with the first the first half, but it's but it's now a close game between the Bucks and the Lakers. Rolls it over to Giannis. Giannis going back to Matthews. Shots over the wing, and there's a two. Got the lead, and he makes and he uh, got his first point in the lead by one. James coming in. A lot of ugly there, but a, a good D by Lopez. It's not that really close at all. 
Lopez. Brian Lopez. Lopez. I mean, Brooke Lopez passes to Matthews. Back to Brooke Lopez. From eight, outside for Rolling it over to Middleton. Shoots it for three over Morris. LeBron keeps another rebounding ball, and he turned around the other way. Matthews covering. James takes the lead by one. Assist by Green. He has been feeling it, guys. He's like feeling it on the court here, and not just the only way that gets it back in and out. 15 seconds left. Bledsoe trying to find a look at Ofe, but here's Middleton. Good! He converts to number two. Assisted by Bledsoe. Now they lead up by one, but James, does, does he have to take the buzz beater? Making it. Went late, and that's the end of the first half. 38 to 37 is your score as the, as the Bucks lead by one. The Bucks on top. But they're on top of it already. The second quarter with now let's go ahead and send you over to the courtside as David Aldridge stands by. David, what do you have here? David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, a big effort from you guys in the first half. How do you keep that momentum going? Come out with energy, you know, just trying to keep pressing the ball uh, just out. We know that's Coach's emphasis, Chris. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. We'll be right back with the second half of the finals in Game 5. See you later after this. The close game between the Bucks and the Lakers from the Eastern and Western Conference. But in that case, Milwaukee Bucks takes a one-point lead ahead over Team LeBron James by, by each competitor matchup. Since the All-Star has been bringing up, he one of each captain, Team LeBron and Team Giannis. But what does Team Giannis do by his captain? So he's looking all over the court, just finding one of the best players in the moment by each team. So here we go, third quarter, we're ready to start. Ashtakupo going over the other way, turns it out, shoots over Davis, and Dale takes it number two. Great, uh, great pass here by Wesley Matthews, and there's a little step in. Step in, come back out, and then the layup. Ashtagubo has 10 points. Here's the alley -oop. Oh, no hesitation here for Green, but Ashtagubo would have been knocking her right out of here. That might be another alley -oop for LeBron. James, of course. Giannis kicks to Middleton. He passes up to Matthews. Bounce pass. Overhand pass back to Beth Matthews. Going over with the shot, Brooke, Brooke Lopez takes a two, and has his first bucket of the night. Great shot at that moment, and there's a number of assist look as Wesley Matthews takes a number, takes a number assist from this game. James rolling it over to go out and on the outside, but he wants to get inside. Bradley with a three. Get It'll get another try, but no. Brooke Lopez got the ball. On the glass. And here's Matthews, on the Matthews missing it out, but they're going to need to uh, watch it carefully. Lock at six. Lock at six. Let's so. One so passes to Matthews. Over Shoots three. over Green. A two pointer off the mark. Lakers trail by three. Lakers trail by three. Bradley. James with the three. It's and it's holding it off by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Seven rebounds at the moment. 5.16 left. He rolls it off to Middleton. Middleton with it. Picked up rolls it over back to Matthews. It's Lopez with the screen, but it's off. And it's shot. The layup goes in, assist by Matthews. Matthews has got three assists. That's number three for uh, for Wesley Matthews to and take care of it right from the start. And the Lakers are trailing by five. LeBron James going over with another attack. And it's a nine. Greek Freak. And Greek Freak sent out eight rebounds and first block. Oh, what a nice scr scrimmage for the Bucks to put up there. Bledsoe takes another three-pointer. 
assist by GIs. Los Angeles Lakers calls timeout by uh, by 4:32 left to go. The Lakers needs a lot more time to uh, to go over with another possession, but there might be a lot more to get things done. Just subbed out Middleton, and I subbed in Kyle Quirper. Same thing with the Lakers, too, as D. White Howard, Rojan Rondo, Cardwell Pope, and Kuzma with uh, Caruso are subbed in by all five players. Kuzma, first drive, look. What a nice uh, two-pointer if this comes out. But here's Antetokounmpo. He's only sending out 10 points of the game. He's like on, a, on fire right now. He might be on streaking the running victory that puts him up here. Kyle Corfer coming in. The floater's good. Corfer takes his first bucket of the night. And he's got the lead up to eight. Crawford showing no mercy at that point, but he only uh, never spells him out. But he, but all the graffiti's pouring out by Kyle Crawford. The only two pointer that was ever going to believe what Kyle Crawford can do to buy the next one. Not with the Utah Jazz. Or no, anything. I mean, that's where they Just the team And not yes, that did happen back in the last share the wealth day. in 2018. Williams dishes the hill. Here's Hill coming in. And two pointer, another, another convertible shots so and another close. assist down that by uh, Marvin player. Williams. <laughs> it's like you get uncomfortable we here. Got <laughs> I know, right? Man. 323 left, Cardwell Pope on the outside. Pass to Rondo. Outside Rondo. Alley oop. Oh, he made it. Not just a missed shot here, but a nice pass movement here by Rojan Rondo. A second assist pulling it out with an alley oop. And another pointer. That must be six points for D.Y. Howard. And here's Giannis. Oh, wow. 12 points with it rolling up the pace here. To see by performance but, tonight, but all the Antetokounmpo's performance, he's doing really well. 2.50 left in the, uh, in the third quarter. Here's Caruso. Caruso, look at Caruso dishes off to Rondo. To the middle. Rondo finds Kuzma, dunk it in around the hoop. The rim. And now, what a play this is. Now the first timeout will be called by Milwaukee, as you're going to be uh, going with another offensive look. <laughs> Anyways, I would not disagree with you there, guys. He is fearless. I'm going to uh, change it right now and go with. Uh, and he's very efficient. Go with. Uh, the one thing I like about I guess, him yeah, is that he doesn't that. hold on. Anyways, that's uh, that's all I can do right now. I just go with uh, this guy. Not to believe it, but I um, thought I would have feel like this. Anyways, and, and one more changing here in, in, uh, in the defense, trying to transition, and also play physical. Morris is checked in for Dwight Morris is checked in for Dwight Powell. And Ilya Sofa is checking in for Andre Dekumbo. And it's Pat Connaughton. And it's Pat Connaughton checking in for Kyle Corfer. And Marvin Williams sends it off to the center. Right wing. Pass to Connaughton. Here's Connaughton. He's averaging a bit over five. Rolls over to Carball Pope. Nice right there to create the shot. Good, good creating shot, but the nice defender was Carball Pope. Uh, oh, almost! Oh, the three-pointer for Cardwell Pope. He would have got that again. But it's Ali Sofa with the ball. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages. Even Chenzo only got two pointers. Even he might go for it again if he, can, if he can manage to go for it one more time. Five on the clock. It's a tough walk, but Marvin Williams will take his first bucket in the third really second half. Marjan Rondo only picking out uh, three rebounds. Four straight field goals have been made. Three assists. I'm sorry to hear. Minute and a half. Kuzma, another dunk in a row. 
He goes in the other direction, right over Marvin. I don't know how many points does Kuzma have, but Kuzma has, but I'm not sure uh, if, he, if it's, a good, it's a good idea to go for it. Either way, you might not know what will happen. Connaughton going over. Another two-pointer missing out. Alex Caruso takes up a second rebound. Kuzma with the three. And it's off the target here, or a cover defended by Marvin Williams to pull out the shot. Shoots over Kuzma. Marvin Williams, the number two assist by Connaughton. That to me is just all practice. That just, that just happened to me most, from most of the time. Right and reasoning, and reasoning, what what do I need to know about it? Carwell Hope going in again, and a three is good. That will be another assist. Four assists for Rojan Rondo to pull out. The pass to Williams. Just 30 seconds left. Back to Hill. Hill going back the other way. Might be standing out a lot more short. Kick ball rolls out with the uh, pulls out of Cardwell Pope. JaVale McGee is And then here's a new changeup for the Bucks and the Lakers. As four players have checked out. Caruso. Robert Lopez, Wesley Matthews, and Scott Attent switched to the shooting guard, and there was Bledsoe's in. And all four players came out for Arlo Pope, switches over to shooting guard. LeBron, after LeBron James, McGee, and Anthony Davis have checked in. Bledsoe has taken 13 points on the board. But the Lakers need to go up with another, another possession. Another one. Oh, it's tipped away by Robin Lopez. Going with another pass. Billy Sofa, not a problem here. Good assist by Connaughton. That's the end of the third quarter. 61 to 50 is your score. It might be, it might be time for some showing down the ability in the fourth quarter. The final quarter is up after this. We'll be right with you, right after the intermission. Mike Budenholzer are telling them to make the huddle right into the game by, by the playoffs and the finals, and also during the regular season. That might be another coaching right at the ability. That is the steal by Robert Lopez to pull out here. Here's Bledsoe. As they start the fourth quarter, here's Robert Lopez. He only sent it out with just a block already, but not just a, a, a block, it's just a steal. That was never happening. First one, bending up for the two point of Robert Lopez. To score from the mid After the free throw. Skilled at cash here's Bradley so only making out four here's assists. Davis. And here's Davis. Oh, what a jam here. Whoa, he's smoking right now. You you gotta stand back. Davis is like he was he wants to go for us. And he, he said, I got I got this. Watch this. You're not gonna know what am I here. Why am I here to do this for you? Brown Lopez passes it to Matthews. He shoots over James. Green with the Green rebound. With the rebound. Green, Green up Green another Green. How round up at the court. Here's, Here's James. James, James missed off the target missing. from the middle. Bucks leading by 11. Milwaukee lead by 11. Bounce pass. Bounce pass. Way tipped off. Here's James coming in. And he decides to go with the number two on the other hand. Timeout Milwaukee, 535 left. James pulling out something big with the game. Same thing like Kyle Kuzma did. But for Milwaukee, they're going to need to pick out another look at the possession that they need to go for. For LeBron James, this guy thrives. Let's see. Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy actually this championship ambitions off the court. The City of Angels, perfect for 43 emotion will take different from here. And also, um, take the patient offense here. And some pick and rolls here at that moment. Here's a different look here for the Lakers and the Bucks. 
down his own in the group. Uh, Giannis and Ford. Pirelli is over. Pirelli is over. And Middleton second in for Conte. He has a chance now to catch up. And Brooke Lopez checked in for a moment. Here's David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Shot my gloves over. Had some words for his team during the break. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Making the seal, it was Bledsoe, James, and he makes it another clutch shot. Right from outside, and there's another three-pointer for James. Oh, James. Didn't want to know what's just happening here, but he looks like he's on a roll. Five minutes left here in the final quarter. Matthews rolling over to Middleton. Passes to Brooks Lopez. Over McGee and no good. Excellent D for McGee to pull out from each. And Matthews got the ball. Here comes the 2 on 1. And the finishing drive will be Giannis, a number assist by Matthews, number four. Oh wait, Bledsoe. Like the strategy here. How many assists did this other Bledsoe can do something with it? I don't know what happened here. That's what I said. Keep the pressure on. Dude, seven assists, and again, that's crazy. Shots good for LeBron James, and that was a dunk that was putting in. First foul going on Brooke Lopez. Mike Budenholzer didn't seem to care what just kind of happened here. Brooke Lopez would have just bent out already. Watch that drive. Don't get uncomfortable with the charge. And Frank Vogel was still completely silent as LeBron James heads to the free throw line to shoot one. That'll be his first personal foul from the second half. James hits the free throw. Well, Milwaukee is exactly what a small market success story looks like. Yeah, you know, a great Lakers pulling out again. Some good a doubled man. A player like Giannis in the draft. And small market teams have to own the Lopez superstar. Shoots in the elbow. Surrounding you. And another miss by, by Milwaukee. Coach, the front office deserves Buku credit. A saving. Oh! Oh, the fight for the rebound went very terrible. But this didn't help out to be just close enough to get from here. Got a piece of it. Giannis got some ball. Giannis with it. Picked up. He goes again. Tries another dunk. Slammed it in, absolutely, really, really cool. Unbelievable. You guys should never know what Giannis was going to take it off from here. He's like on fire to take it from here. Another three-pointer for Bradley. He's got his back in, bucket in, assist by James. He's going to assist. Under 3.30 left, here's Plutso. Pass down to Jumbo. Giannis goes over to Middleton. Ten. To shoot. Middleton. No choice. Left out of two again. Davis has got four rebounds in this Davis with four rebounds. Bradley still has to cover. Oh no! It's taken away by Brooke Lopez. And here comes the fast break. Oh, and Matthews are going to find out so which Matthews player is going to make it. Guarded by McGee. And the best to on the Kubo. On the Kubo outside. Middleton going over on the outside. Inside, Giannis. Oh, my goodness. And that Greek freak just never slowed down. Went over by Greed. <laughs> That's like, the, you, you should never know what Antetokounmpo was looking at. He's looking at that rim, wants to find the drive without hit, hitting or charging on him. No, no matter if it's a blocking foul or charging. Green missing. But it's rebounded by Antetokounmpo with 11 rebounds. Oh my goodness, 18 points on the board. That's like an unbelievable score to make this one an MVP. He scored, I think he's over 100. That is something that you don't see every day. Oh, and he did it again! He saves out 20 points, and he's like, um, uh, what do I do now? I didn't find an open man, open look. Never mind. My point host, I just found I just found a look. James just completely anxious about Giannis by the captain here. 
But it's Brooke Lopez with the block, and Davis, oh, he made the three. That jump shot was just no luck at all. How does he do that? Under two minutes left here, here's Wesley Matthews. Matthews going right over to Bledsoe. Bledsoe, bounce pass, out of bounds, Lakers ball. And that was the last, last touch by uh, Middleton that did, went out too soon. And now DiVincenzo's coming in for Wesley Matthews. Lakers trail by seven. Lakers are trailing by seven. James looking out, but now we're looking to drive. Before the final quarter hits the end. James, James pass to Bradley. Good, the Good. assist by James. Timeout, Milwaukee. A minute and 21 left. And they are pulling it up by five. Wow. This scoring position was just nothing at all. There are a lot of games that was just pulling out way better than numbers. Anyways, I'm stepping out uh, all three players in the, uh, on the court. Giannis, Middleton, and Bledsoe. And so and Brown will all sub in Brown in. And then I'll bring uh, George Hill in. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make another look. Push the base a little bit more. And then we'll do some play proofs. As I am I'm looking for Dante DiVincenzo to come in with the uh, with the screening of the play proofs. And crash the offensive board. That's the next part that we're gonna do. Watch, uh, uh, just go back to neutral, protect the perimeter, and make sure we don't get any free hits. And now your Jordan player of the game for game five, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And that's what you definitely did notice that time. This was a, was a fantastic phenomenon that has been pulling out way better than ever than game one. Not for game two, because he definitely did really well. And then in game three, it got much better. And game four was just, wow. A lot of games are just coming out way, way sooner than we expected. Nothing to, be, nothing to believe in. Tell me. Everything about it. Minute and 20 left. He'll pass it up to DiVincenzo. Here's DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo back to Hill. He rolls over to Brown. That same number? Yes, it is. Brook Lopez couldn't save it. And it looks like the Lakers are coming in the back. Oh! Oh! Jeez! Ducks it! While Dante DiVincenzo blocks the alley-oop, and he saves it again. What a play. 45 seconds left, Hill, wasting no time. Brown going around the other way. Free for the sofa, cash it in. Boy, just awesome Second to last time out for the Lakers as Ellie Sopa takes the first three pointer. Assist by Dante DiVincenzo. Just a great, uh, great progressive, aggressive on the game. And it looks like they are just pulling him back in. A lot of couple three pointers are just coming in way behind it. Not, not the only way that ball was going to end up to stop it, but it definitely didn't do really much as they can. So anyways, I'm summing out Brooke Lopez. One more switch here, and Robert Lopez will come out here and finish it off to find out what will happen here. And as I'm doing the two, two to three zone, I'll let's make this one best. Our last one, our last our last possession will be getting the shooters open. Just in case they're catching up. I don't know what will happen, but it might be very tough. Lopez, he's checked in for Milwaukee. So it looks like uh, McGee's uh, finally checked back in, but it looks like they got to keep it going. Oh, it went a little ugly. Ah, uh, the shot went off for James off. Anthony Davis takes his first personal foul. Solomon Brown still has a ball. 29 seconds left in the Foul will be put up on Avery Bradley. 
And there it is. There's the talk uh, on Frank Vogel that sent about one of the players to stop uh, gathering all the balls. They want to take that one away. That didn't show him up recently. George Hill shooting two. One on two. He'll take the first one in. And, that makes it and he drops it in to take the first one. In my opinion, he'll if he scores the second, then it looks like the Bucks well, will have to win it all. Yep. There you go. That's uh, two free throws for George Hill to be pulling back in. Three for Bradley. Miss it again. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Oh, what a slot! Slot! The moves on George Hill. Pulling up eight points. And that, my friend, Green makes the triple. Last possession for the box, and that is the end of the finals. That means the box. Are the champions? That mean that being said, the final score was 80 to 73. The Bucks wins the game. Yes, that's right, my friends. Team Giannis wins the wins the finals, and that was just unbearably tough by the team by the captain. Here's the finishing for DA. Thanks, Kevin. Brooke, congrats on the win. What are your expectations for the team right now? Uh, very high. You know, everyone's um, been coming together, you know. We've uh, been excited to close the season out the right way. And now, uh, you know, we're, we're gearing up for a great one, great run in the playoffs. Looks like you're running into the form. Thanks again, bro. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Well, friends. Well, everyone, that concludes the uh, the postseason of NBA on virtual gaming in 2020. I would like to say thank you to all the players, and we'd like to thank all the staff members for making this part of the incredible games of the season, and the managers for bringing out the best game ever to release one here. Yes, thank you all for joining us here with an amazing season four of the of the game, perhaps uh, looks like this is just the end right now. Yep, that's it. No game six and seven; they're all gone. So and right now, your and now here's your uh, finals of the MVP. This one's out by the best player that could get Giannis Antetokounmpo. Only him had made five, um, five Jordan player to game that time. You can't remember what uh, what Giannis was going for, what the game is all about. But he also made the tie of the decision with Eric Bledsoe to come back in, and Eric Bledsoe did congratulate uh, Giannis for being the best player on the uh, on the team. And it looks like that should. That's to take care of it. And with all that being said, I'm gonna mute it right now, but I'm just not I'm not doing any music at that all oh, that cost. Well it looks like that's gonna be the end of it. Yep, that's it. Season four is completely done. Well with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in for the uh, incredible gaming of the uh, of the NBA highlights. We love seeing the uh, plays, we love seeing the teammates score, and we love all the games that we recently watch. No matter where you are, you may watch it on the League Pass, or you might be watching from your hometown. Well, that being said, thank you guys for watching, and we cannot appreciate Everybody who was watching the uh, this the uh, the postseason uh, virtual of the NBA playoffs, Eastern and Western Conference, and the NBA Finals. This is definitely a best game that ever been played, and we love to be enjoying this. So anyway, fellas, thank you guys for watching. But for that being said, until next time, peace out, bitches. 
for as a while as the completion of virtual postseason dial. Well, it looks like uh, I have to do everything about that. In the meantime, I'm going to be playing Call of Duty. Yeah, you know that. And if you guys want to do the same, you could do that. I'm definitely heading it out right from the here and to there. This is Season 4 of the NBA 2K20 signing out. And that, my friend, I'm all alone. And bring it up here one of the moments. I love how that game works here. I'm definitely having a best time ever. And yes, I will post you guys with the schedule of the NBA 2K21 for next year um, in September. And I'll let you guys know uh, when to start. Because we, mean, we may not know what will happen here. Um, if they're going to start the regular season after pandemic is stop spreading. But with that being said, that's all we have to know for. Okay? In the meantime, that's to do with the game. I'm definitely playing Call of Duty. And this was fantastic. And that, I'm definitely playing it. See you next season.